Freshfields Animal Rescue was established in 1979. We're here to provide sanctuary and relief to any animal that needs it. We always provide the best care possible and have a strict non-destruction policy. The busy kennel department at Freshfields deals with all kinds of dogs, all with very different backgrounds. Some have come from loving, secure homes, but others are not so lucky and have had very unhappy pasts. It is these dogs that struggle most with the kennel environment. They often come to us with various issues like separation anxiety and being unsocialised with other dogs. They show fear-based aggression or a lack of trust. This is usually a result of the life they've had and the way they've been treated in the past. Placing these dogs into kennels can be extremely stressful for them. They're not like the stable, well-balanced dogs who've come from loving backgrounds. They arrive here as already anxious dogs who are now forced to deal with the noisy, hectic world of a rescue and it's very difficult for them to cope with that. Dogs like Bruiser, who's only ever lived in a garage, and Marg and Kane, who spent their life living in a backyard, and Freya, who was abandoned and found straying. They all found adjusting to kennel life very hard. Their behaviour became worse, and their pre-existing problems intensified and increased. This is not unusual, and whenever we can, we move dogs like this to quieter areas away from the main kennel blocks. This means they are able to de-stress, relax and have a calmer way of life. It also means that they are more receptive to the help we give them as we try to address their issues. Bruiser can now cope with some items from normal life. Freya is more manageable and is able to control her excitement. And this is Rosie. She's such a happy dog now, but when she was in kennels, she was so frustrated, she was frantic. When dogs struggle so badly in the rescue, their stay with us becomes much longer than it should be. They become long-termers. The kennels and its way of life has now become their way of life. Sometimes, sadly and unbelievably, this is often the best home that these dogs have ever known. Our aim, of course, is to get each and every dog away from the rescue and into their own real loving home, but these long-term dogs need extra help when it comes to adoption. Initially, the best way to get to know one of these dogs is to meet them slowly, gain their trust and create a bond. Before you can introduce the dog to your world, you need to meet him in his world, at the rescue. A dog who has spent a long period of time in kennels is comfortable and familiar in that setting. They are happy knowing their routine and being around people they trust. By spending time with the dogs here, potential adopters will see them at their best, when they are most relaxed. That makes becoming friends much easier. Rushing an introduction can lead to disaster. It is asking too much of a dog to expect them to accept too many changes all at once. They will not cope. If forced into a situation, they will usually react in a negative way. We assess each individual dog's needs and work out how they should meet a new person and potential home. We would ask the potential adopter to follow a simple plan of meetings. This is determined by each dog's specific needs. They may be fearful, so need time to build up trust with someone new. Or they may be difficult to walk, so we have to know that their behaviour can be handled. Often they just need time to adjust and adapt to the outside world. So meetings, walks, day visits and overnight stays serve as a gentle introduction to everything that will be new and different to them. Isla spent a year here at the rescue. She was found as a stray in a very bad condition and she struggled with kennel life. We knew nothing about her or her past, not even if she'd ever lived in a house. Here she is, three years after her adoption, one of the happiest, luckiest dogs we know. When Lindsay first made enquiries and it was clear that she could offer a dog a fantastic home, we explained that in Isla's case, 
we needed to proceed slowly so that Isla and Lindsay could get to know each other. And then we could find out how Isla dealt with life outside of kennels. Lindsay agreed and spent the next six weeks following our plan. She firstly walked Isla at the rescue. Then once a real bond was formed, she took her home. Then Isla stayed for day visits, overnight stays and progressed to weekend visits. I think it helped us because then the more we went, the more she'd reckon she, and then she'd like, she's just done with Dawn, she'd run up to us, which was nice. Um, but she was just such a joy. I think what, what they've put into place, it made sense for us. It, more importantly, it made sense for Isla. Um, everybody was happy with it and uh, just absolutely adore her. It's been proved to us time and time again that this slowly but surely method really works. It's the best way to ensure that these dogs find their forever homes. They need time, patience, understanding and commitment to help the dog make the transition from kennels to home. Spending a few weeks investing in a partnership that will last for years and years seems a small price to pay. Having a rescue dog in your life is so rewarding.